Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are just going to go over the four places that I recommend for finding high quality images to put on your vision board. And like I said in my what is a vision board video, you don't have to worry about commercial rights here because you are just using it for your own personal vision board. You're not reselling it or making a profit, so there's no concern with just downloading and clipping images, but I'm gonna show you four places that I go all the time and then you'll be able to make your own. The first place that I always go is unsplash.com. That is definitely my favorite resource. As you can see, you can just kind of come here and type in whatever you like. In this example, I'm just using career and vacation images like a boss. Every girl wants that, I'm sure. Um, and then you can just, you know, kind of pick whatever you like. Like we'll just look around for some more images. I'm just showing you that they have beautiful images in pretty much every category. And then you just download it and that's it. It's royalty free. So the second place is Pexels. Um, I, go, I always go to Unsplash first and then I come here. I, I just prefer Unsplash, I'm not even sure why. But anyways, Pexels has really great pictures too, just not as many, so maybe that's why I don't come here as often. But as you can see, like look at this picture for love, it's so cute. So what a great resource. And then, um, so it basically works exactly the same way as Unsplash does, you just find the image and then you download it for free. And again, I wanted to say, just because people send me messages about this all the time, that you don't have to worry about commercial rights and things like that. You're not stepping on anybody's toes because you're not using this to make money. This is for your own vision board. So you are well within your rights to just print it out and put it on your vision board. Now you can credit the author if you want, like if you're gonna post it somewhere, but you don't have to. Okay, so the third place, and I always recommend starting with like I said in my what is a vision board video, very specific goals. So like for me, I want this Airstream Basecamp X. I love this particular model. So I'm gonna come to Pinterest and I'm gonna find specific images of that exact thing. Like not just saying, oh, I want an Airstream and I really don't know what the model is. No, I want an Airstream Basecamp X. And then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna add it to now, me personally, I will take my stuff and break it up into different boards, but you know, I'm hyper organized like that. You don't have to do that. You can just create one general vision board and I will be shooting a video next week actually about what is, or excuse me, how to make a Pinterest vision board. So subscribe if you're interested in that. But what you see me doing here is just, again, being very specific with my goals. Like I love the Denali barn home. That is the home that I am going to build. So I'm not gonna come here and just put in barn home. I'm gonna put in Denali barn home because I want it to be super, super specific. And then go ahead and save that to, you know, whatever board, if you wanna do one main board or break it up into smaller ones. It's your Pinterest account. You do whatever makes you happy. Um, but as you can see, there is an endless supply of wonderful images for you to use. And you just, you know, pick the ones that resonate with you and then um, save them to the board. Pretty simple. All right. And then the second to last place, actually there are five in this video, not four, is Instagram. So just kind of look up whatever you want and then screen capture it and that's it. I mean, Instagram is the home of the beautiful images. Everybody knows that. Definitely Instagram is going to give Unsplash a run for its money. I think even there may be a little bit more artistic over here on Instagram just because that's how Instagrammers are. And I'm so grateful for all their beautiful pictures every day. So here I'm just showing you, you know, I looked up Mercedes. There you go. If, if you're into luxury vehicles and things like that, you would just copy it. The point is, whatever you like, you can find it on Instagram. And then, you know, you can just add them to a board. Now, in my what is a vision board video, I gave you a little printout and it has 14 separate categories for you to kind of consider. So I don't think, you know, just sitting down and printing out some random images, you know, that's just not gonna be as helpful for you. So take these categories and then really, you know, I would say spend a day with yourself if possible and ask yourself 
what do I really want in each of these categories? Not generally, but very specifically. You know, what do I want for my career? Where do I want to work? How much do I want to make? How hard do I want to have to work? And so this, you can just print this out and it's just some suggestions of categories for you to consider. That is on my Pinterest board under my vision board and, or excuse me, under the what is a vision board Pinterest board and I will link all that below so don't worry about that. And then you can see that you have all of your images here kind of scattered all over your um, desktop. I'm just showing you that you know you can just screen capture my images right off the Pinterest board and then open it up and print it out. I have no problem with that. Okay so then the very last place is going to be Google Images which is a wonderful resource for finding various images of all different kinds. I do find it a little bit difficult to um, kind of use it because it's not built for you to download. So you do have to do a lot of screen capturing. Um, let me give you an example. So like see this one and we're gonna go, okay, we'll save it to the desktop. And that's what you think you're gonna do. But Google's like, no, no you're not. Um, if you'll watch here in a second, you'll see that when I go back and I try to open the image, I'm not able to do that. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to run it with two so you can see that it wasn't a fluke. And you know, again, trying to right click and save it. And it's a giant whammy because you can see that you cannot open these. Okay, don't freak out because I have a solution. The same thing that you did on Instagram. You're just going to screen capture it. Again, same, same thing here. No copyright issues to be concerned with. So just screen capture. But again, being super specific. See, it doesn't say I want to go to Disneyland. It says Disney VIP tours. And that's because I only want to be there for two days, so I don't want to have to stand in line for, you know, nine hours a day. And, you know, that's a goal that my family and I have for ourselves. So you're just going to screen capture the images. And I mean, there's pretty much nothing that you cannot lay your hands on on Google Images. And as you can see, you can open them perfectly fine when you just screen capture them. So that is my recommended method if you don't want to put lines on your face and just be aggravated in general. Um, now I personally would recommend just making one folder and then calling it like vision boards and then you can change the download location on your computer while you're going through this so that you don't have to sit there and download an image. Like here, let me show you. So let's say, okay, we download an image um, and before you would have to open it up, find it, move it to your desktop. But because you created that folder and you changed where the destination is, it just lands right there in that folder. And if you're interested in seeing how to do that, go check out my other channel, Girl Meets Tool, where I am going to film that actually next week and it's talking about how to change the download location. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I do post new vision board videos every Monday and Friday at 1 p.m. Central, so turn on notifications and consider subscribing if that would be valuable to you. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to believe in the power of your dreams. Bye.